Welcome to our Saturday workshop, speaking words of life, sin is a prison. Today we're talking about dynamic influences. All of creation knows who we are. All the animals, all the angels, and all the demons. And every wickedness works hard to deceive us into turning around and turning away from God or just staying the same. But his wife looked back behind him and she became a pillar of thought. Genesis nineteen twenty six. What turn from your sin, people of God. Don't be like Lot's wife, Lotta. I mean, I remember T.D. T. D. Jakes called her Lotta. But she had no name in the Bible. She turned back to see a burnt down, smoldering city. The city of Sodom and Gomorrah. But clinging to the past, she was unwilling to turn completely away. Are you looking, are you, um, Looking back longingly at sin while trying to move forward with God, you can't make progress with God as long as you are holding to pieces of the world, of your old life. Jesus said it this way, no one can serve two masters, either he going to hate one, and love the other, he going to love the other and hate the other. Amen. Jesus warned us against false security. We are to abandon the values and attachments of this world in order to be ready for Christ's return. His return will happen suddenly. And when he comes, there will be no second chances. Some will be taken to be with him. The rest will be left behind. There will be no more chances. How about that? Ain't gonna be no second because ain't gonna be no more when he comes. You know, ridding our lives of sin is the first step. Okay? The second we must also take is filling our lives with God's Word and the Holy Spirit. We got to have the Holy Spirit. He is our helper. We ask him for what we want. He got us. He's guaranteeing our salvation. Unfilled and complacent people spiritually are easy targets for Satan. If we are looking for God's security in his grace, we got to follow his ways, people of God. 
When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest and finds none. Then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept, and put in order. Then he goes and take with him seven other spirits, more wicked than him. And they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man's is worse than the first. So shall it be also with this wicked generation. Matthew 12, 43, 45. You see, this scripture right here, this opened up to me today after we had put it together. Amen. And this is saying, when demons are cast out, they go into dry places, they places they call them. So, that's why the spiritual warfare of this nature, of this next level, Demons must die. And how these demons are hosting, that's what they're doing. They're hosting people. You see people walking down the street. You see people, you know, you go around your family, you go shopping, you know, everywhere you go. Even you come in in contact or it's a face-to-face -face where you're actually seeing them. Sometimes you probably come in contact with about a million demons a day. How about that? For not having yourself protected with the whole armor of God and not having the Holy Spirit work. You better think this thing out. You know what I mean? You can at least keep yourself protected. If you know God protect you, take God everywhere you go. You talk about you got to build on the relationship. You need more protection than ever before. Okay? We got these legions, which is two to five thousand demons that will live in a person's body called, uh, the, they call the body a host, okay? And at any given time, these people are walking around the street, people of God, waiting for the assignment to kill somebody. Because if you're not protected, and if you don't know Jesus Christ, you're not protecting you easy game. You fair game. See, God ain't going to take you. He got a gift for you. He ain't going to take you. But a demon will take you and use your body until it kills it and destroys it. That's spiritual war fair in 101. Amen. Okay. They, these demons, baby. They sat back, this is why I say sat back and pop, pop popcorn after they incite you and get you involved. Because what they're trying to do, God reveals things to me, I'm giving this to you. They need an opening. And so they create scenes and they set up situations to get you, catch you off guard, first of all, if you're living right, because it got you and they below the belt. Okay? So they got a, uh, try to trick you or entice you or make you think it's your idea but really you are being under the influence. Now a person that has a spirit of discernment will, will pick this up. So, you know it ain't gonna happen all the time because everybody gonna get tricked. But if you following Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit ain't gonna let nothing deceive you for too long. Okay, people of God. So, what I'm saying to you is it used to be a thing in spiritual warfare that I had learned from the Holy Spirit. And that was, I always try to tell y'all that to bind the demon, bind the activity, bind the wickedness before the throne of God. You've been given access to Jesus Christ. You bind it before the throne of God. And you say, for it is written, the Lord rebukes you, Satan. Okay? In Jesus' name. It's just that simple. And you kill that off. All right? First it was like, I bind them. That's what I used to say. I, I bind them. And you be inactive until the coming of Christ. But then the presence was still there able to tempt, able to deceive, 
able to lie to, able to murder if it got you caught up. You understand? So now God is revealed to us. And I'm sharing this in us because this is something y'all better take this on. I got this from another brother, Clarence. You know, I told him how I was telling him. He told me. How, and then we came, came with a better solution. Amen. A clear cut one. You know, where that that is what you do. You do that and then you keep it everything off you. Because see, when you do that, the Holy Spirit agrees with you, your angel, the other angels that are kept around, all of heaven, and you get all of heaven's help. Amen. This is a believe, receive, create. Stuff, you know, and so people of God, I, I'm coming to you. You know, we're going to end this up right quick. Go ahead, Ray. I'm sorry. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one, we are the aroma of death leading to death, and to the other, the aroma of life leading to life. And who is sufficient for these things? Second Corinthians chapter 2. Verses 15 through 16. Wow. Write that scripture down. If you wonder why um, people, like I said, walking around, some got assignments on them to kill, and your family members or friends, and it's a confronting spirit, it's a devouring spirit, all that came from division. These spirits have been released into the world people of God, and they've been released on us. And if you don't have on the armor, if you don't ask God for a spirit of discernment, you know, these things are to keep us, you know, I'm going to tell you something. You can't listen to nobody saying that you too jesus -y, okay? That you done, that, that you done lost your mind for Christ. How that sound? It sound beautiful to me. You know what I'm saying? But for a uh, dynamic, uh, that must have been a retarded demon that said that. Uh, <laughs> if they try to tell you, you too Jesus-y, or you too radical, oh, you just done went too far now, you too much. You know, where, Lord have mercy, don't be deceived. The enemy is out here trying to make right look wrong, right, and wrong look right. Well, I'm not falling for the okie dope demon lie. You know what I'm saying? The truth sets us free. Okay? Now, to the victors, the aroma will be sweet. That's why they don't want to be around you. That's why they try to make excuses. That's why people will say you too much or they'll just stop calling. Friends, friends falling off like flies. Discord with family members for no reason at all. Can't you see something going on, people of God? You know, can't you sense it even in contact with people going to the store? People ready to, to get in conflict with you. You know, and then people talk about mental health issues. You top that off with some demons. And then you say a legion of them. And I'm going to tell you, we all better go rough for cover under the blood. We all better want to get deep and deep and fall in the morning. You know what I'm saying? We better want this thing. Beloved, people of God, we must continue to add spiritual dimensions to our lives. Let's Keep our commitment to Christ turned up at full effect. Then we'll be ready for his return. But just trying to be proper about salvation when these demons out here attacking your children. They got you, they're after your children. They got some holes on you. On me too. That I'm trying to keep straight, trying to straighten out to be an example. For a woman of God my age, you understand what I'm saying? I've been saved this long. I'm trying to get this right. First off, for me, but that I represent. I'm a representative. I'm a child 
Jesus' DNA flows through my veins. You know what I'm saying? His blood. I'm covered in the blood. I tell you, cover yourself in the blood, people of God. Cover yourself in the blood and uh, keep your armor on. Believe God. Get that word that you need for you in that book, baby. In that love letter. And you get that thing and you stand on it. I mean, why not just free fall with all the faith you ever had in anything and watch God show up to catch you? You know what I'm saying? I love you. God bless you is my prayer, people of God. And now, let me just say this before I go. Look, I got another surprise. What up? Look, right? Show up. Bam! This by what agreement prayer box. Now this is what we were talking about about the assignment for Halloween. That's why I had the mask on the other day. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're putting the prayer requests that people are putting in the DMs, and we're putting our own in there, and other ones from personal friends and family. And what we're gonna do. Is we gonna just keep, and we gonna commit to praying for these hospitals and nursing homes and, uh, prisons, whatever God lays on your head, but make a commitment to that thing. You can pray for everything else too, but make a commitment and stick to it. And God told me that He would clean it up. I saw it in the spirit of people with God, and I wouldn't lie about nothing like that. I don't gotta lie on God. He can do what He wanna do anyway. He can do it. Okay. All right. Um, Raymond, let's do a prayer of forgiveness. No, I want to change it up. I'm going to do the prayer of forgiveness. And it's not, it's going to be a prayer for God for help us to not continue in habitual sin. And that we try to straighten up the sin in our lives and turn away from it. That we seek God in Jesus' name. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father. I've been living my life my own way. Every day I realize it more. That as I'm coming to you and wanting and enjoying you because I'm in love with you now. You know, I realize how wrong I was. And I want to tell you I appreciate you for using us at such a time as this. Your people who are called by your name, Lord. And you have called us to these assignments, Lord, for Halloween especially. I want to pop on here. I got something to say. Because we got to fight back as the people of God. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord. Equip us and then send us out. In Jesus' name, the benediction. Right? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.